everyone, my name is Maria Luisa Mesa. First, before we proceed with our discussion, let us pray first. Ang 
number seven, believe in them. It's one thing to communicate to people because you believe you have something of value to say. It's another to communicate with people because you believe they have value. Because opinions of us have less to do with that. Number eight, give them hope. Remember, as a leader, you need to give your people hope. They feel that you mula ka paglaon sa mga kaling mula ka sa mga paglaon. Dila sila ang pose. Successful leaders who obey the law of connection are always in shapers. They take the first step with others and then make the effort to continue building relationship. That is the law of connection. Num the number 11, the law of inner circle. A leader's potential is determined by those closest to him. To him. As you consider whether individuals should be in your inner circle, ask yourself the following questions. If you can answer yes to these questions, they, then they are excellent candidates for your inner circle. We have five questions here. Pag ma-answer daw yun yung mga mga questions, kung isa ka ka leader, guys, I know. Effective ka nga leader sa inuhang inner circle. Number one, do you, do they have high influence with others? Kung ikaw, as a leader, na ba kay na-influensyahan pa ni mga inuhang members ka na yung good influence dahil sa good bad influence. The one key of successful leadership is the ability to influence the people who influence others. Number two, do they bring a complementary gift to the table? Bring a few key people in my inner circle who possesses them in your areas of weakness. Dili kay gift na, literal na gift na. Paano siya ka ni? Kung maka, paano maka o strength sa inyong ang mga nasa sa kupan as a leader. Number three, do they hold a strategic position in the organization? Some people belong in your inner circle because of their importance to the organization. If you and they are not working on the same page, the entire organization is in trouble. You, sh you should ano, work as one as an um, inner circle, as a group. Number four, do they add value to me and to the organization? The people in your inner circle must add value to you personally. They should also have a proven track record as assessed to the organization. Seek for your inner circle of people to help you improve. Siyempre, dapat ang sunod sa inyo inner circle, but you need to grow as one. Number five, do you feel that you have a positive impact to other inner circle members? What 
what he wants done and the selfish guy and the family to keep primarily with them while they do it. It's like my thoughts about Alima Kauri. Because, ibili ka rin yung mga sila, no? Para, para, anang area. 
yeah. So why why meddle them from the things they are doing? Kita ganit pa magtrabaho tatas sigundan tag mag subok ay mag dilit na ganahan mag nilok. Minuwal pa kaya nang pagkita na pagkita na magbuhat tas wala nila ang story sa palipot. Yeah na. Mas challenge na mag nilok yah. So that's it. I already talked about Peter Roosevelt. That's the essence of being a best executive. Thank you. Tama ko. Tama ko. Tama ko. Na sabda na maguro na duha na gusto na explain ko. When leaders fail to empower others, it is usually due to three main reasons. Desire for a job security. Law of Empowerment. 